The Bruins were able to get three out of the four possible points on their first official road trip of the season. I'm TJ Schlott, and it's time for another edition of Austin Bruins Rewind. Starting out in Brookings on Friday night, the Bruins took to the ice against a team that they manhandled less than a week before, knocking off the blizzard 4-0 at Riverside Arena. After the three or so hour bus ride on Saturday to South Dakota, they looked for a repeat performance. Stalberg back to the point, Pietala. Over to Sheriff, top of the left wing circle. Drops this one down low, shot, they score! Ian Meju hanging out at the base of the goal line, slipped that one through the five hole, and the Bruins get the power play goal. 17.56 left to go here in the first period, one nothing Austin. Taken by Willis from behind his own goal line, chips this one out to Larkin. Bruins on a rush, 145 left to go. Stepping across the blue line, Larkin leaves it there for Winkleman. Winkleman with a shot blocker saved by Dorr. Out to the point, Kim with a shot blocked down. Winkleman with another one, he got it! Top shelf! After two saves by Dorr, Winkleman fires it top shelf. And the Bruins take a 2-1 lead, 133 left to go here in the first period. Two on one, maybe three on one if they hurry. Here's Sheriff, right wing circle, centering opportunity, Stauber shot, he scores! Levi Stauber put that straight up in the air. He hits the shelf and the Bruins take a two goal lead. It's three to one. Sheriff, gonna push this one into the corner. Giving chase, seals a Caro off. Sheriff drops this pass back. Stauber with a shot, he scores! Levi Stauber goes top corner and gets his second of the night. And the Bruins with a 4-1 lead. 7.45 left to go here in the third period. Working this one up in the center is Antonucci. Stahl strips it from him. Five seconds left to go. Puck hops up in the air. Two seconds. Aquero, the pass intercepted, and that does it. The Bruins clear it down the length of the ice. The horn will sound. And they take down the Brookings Blizzard by a final score of 4-1. to one, Their second victory over the Blizzard in their last two games. A smooth 4-1 win over the Blizzard for the Bruins, their third victory in a row, and coincidentally their third straight game where they held their opponents to less than 20 shots in the game. They took that momentum into Saturday night, another road game, this time against the Minnesota Wilderness in Cloquet. Working out, here come the Bruins. They try to step up. There's a shot from Dom. Goes wide of the net. He's going to head back to the bench and get a change. 16:42 left to go in the second period. 2-0, Wilderness with the lead over the Bruins. Down in the right wing corner for the Bruins as they come out of their own defensive zone. Skating in front of the bench, Andy Willis, good touch pass to Winkleman. Winkleman backhanded, Larkin shot, they score! You Larkin off the feed from Winkleman, it all started with Willis. And the Bruins cut the lead in half, it's 2-1, 16-24 left to go in the second period. Zalberg, it's a 2-2. Allberg's going to throw the brakes on. Finds Pietela coming from the point. Backdoor shot, they score! Jed Pietela finds his man. Backdoor, Che Landekusik. And with 2.20 left to go in the second period, the Bruins tie it. It's 2-2. Taken here by Landekusik. He banks this one off to Willis. Willis looking for something. Comes out on the right wing half wall. Cross ice to a cutting Kim just a little too far. Noah Kim will play this down low. Wraparound chance, shot! Blocked out out in front, big backhand! He scores! Ian Mayju with the backhander! And the Bruins tie it up, it's 3-3. 10.32 left to go here in the third period. While the guys didn't get the win as they had hoped, that third period goal by Ian Mayju would prove to be the one to tie the game and ultimately land both teams in overtime. It was the extra standings point that eluded them with a loss in the shootout, but by the time the weekend was over, the Bruins would be tied for first place in the Central Division. Next up, it's a home-and-home -home series with the Minnesota Magicians, a team the Bruins saw earlier this fall during the preseason. Things get started on Friday with a showdown at Riverside Arena here in Austin before heading to Richfield for the second game on Saturday night. Tickets are on sale now for Friday night's game. Stop by at any one of the Bruins vendors, including Hy-Vee, Games People Play, Jim's Marketplace, and Holiday Inn and Conference Center to get your discount tickets today. Tied for first, not a bad place to be, but the Bruins have a huge showdown with the Magicians in just a couple days. I'm TJ Shalott, and this was your Austin Bruins Rewind. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>